What is up you guys, Nea Sam here, and welcome to episode 2 of Earthshock vs. Earthquake on Single Target, and what I hope is the series finale, because I don't want to ever have to talk about this again. If you have been sub since the Emerald Nightmare days, you probably have seen the Earthshock vs. Earthquake video way back then, the one where I basically compared Earthquake and Earthshock at different, or basically for Single Target, and described how at a certain amount of haste, it could become worth it to use Earthquake on single target, and how, at the time, it was actually more damage per Maelstrom spent to use Earthquake on single target than it was to use Earth Shock. but the grant, er, but the uh, additional additional uh, global spent to use the Earthquake instead of Earth Shock actually made it not quite worth it, but the fact that it was so close really disturbed me. Now, we're kind of in that position again, and I hope this is the last time I have to discuss this, but this is basically going to be the video where I discuss what the meme build is. We've been talking about this for a while since the Seismic Lightning or Seismic Storm trait was announced. What Seismic Storm does is it makes Earthquake damage has a chance, has a 5% chance to cause Seismic Lightning, dealing a certain amount of nature damage to the target. So, let I did I already did a little testing here just to show. I'm at 16% haste if I drop my totems down. I'm, at, I'm over the first breakpoint. So I have 7 ticks for Earthquake instead of 6, and I uh, went ahead and hit the dummy, and I spent, I put down 2 Earthquakes, not a single one proc Seismic Lightning. And it did 1,060,000 damage. So I did the math, and even, or did, I did the math just to make this fair, since the Earthshock that was spent at 100 Maelstrom, just to compare the Maelstroms, did not crit. I subtracted the crits and pretended the Earthshock did not get a single crit. And if this Earth, or, or the Earthquake did not get a single crit, and if the Earthquake did not get a single crit, it did 855,871 damage. That is still more than the Earth Shock, and that is without a single proc of Seismic Lightning. This is also only at 7 ticks per, per cast. But this was during an, or this was during a Whispers proc. So a Whispers proc means it's more like 8 or 9 ticks. So it's a little bit unfair to call this 7 ticks, but I just kind of wanted to show that we're kind of at that position again. If I got decent RNG and had at least one Seismic Lightning proc, this would have been massively above the Earth Shock. If you have not already seen the post by Blood Mallet on the Stormeth and Lava website called 7.2 and Earthquake, I strongly suggest reading it. It basically goes over the meme build, is as we called it, which most people call the Earthquake build at this point. Meme build is kind of a, a meme name. And it describes how you can do it, and you actually will not lose very much damage doing the meme build on some bosses it'll actually be a DPS increased if you use this build. And what the build is, is you basically get to a certain amount of haste, you use certain talents, which are fairly normal to your regular talents, as long as you're using Totem Mastery and Ancestral Swiftness, and you use Earthquake on single target. The downsides are, if the boss moves at all, you are losing all of your damage, and there's a lot more RNG involved because of the Seismic Lightning trait. But if there's any adds, you do not have to preemptively drop the Earthquakes, they will already be down, and if it's like a cleave fight, then you already have the extra haste, and you're going to be doing a lot more damage. On single target, typically it is a small DPS decrease, but some people actually are seeing an increase in using this build over the normal Earthshock build. So as I said, if you have, if you have not read this, the link will be in the description, and I strongly suggest going and checking it out. It even has a profile for, your, for, for you to post into SimCraft and see if it's an upgrade for you to use this build. So unlike Episode 1 of the Earthshock vs. Earthquake build, this is not going to be just me ranting about Earthshock and Earthquake. In this video, I'm going to actually give you some tips to increase your DPS using these tricks. So as I said earlier, with, an er with a Whispers proc, it is actually worth it to drop Earthquake at most gear levels. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and say anything specific about gear, but for me, I get more damage if I drop Earthquake during Whispers procs, especially when I'm fully raid buffed and stuff. And if I get any procs, or another add even like so much as steps for one second into the Earthquake, it's an increase overall. On average, of course, on average. So, that's definitely something to keep in mind, is that if you have a, if you have a high amount of haste, it's generally worth it. My Whispers gives me 42% haste, which puts me at 50... Math is really hard, really, really hard. 62%, I think, which is actually just under another tick. So if I have certain my metronome procs, that can actually be an additional tick, but they'd have to stay the entire time. So it's a pretty suboptimal level, and it's still an increase for me. Now the main point I wanted to address in this is that you guys may or may not have noticed in my Gul'dan kill video, I kind of talk really fast sometimes, so you may not have understood what I said, 
But right as Hero ended, I did say that, oops, I forgot to use Earthquake during Hero. And that was... That was what I meant to say. I intended to use Earthquake during Hero. So... Let's go ahead and pop Hero and see how much haste we have. So he drops Totem throughout the 18%. If we fail with the Blast, see if we get a haste buff. No, we didn't. Oh well. We got 63% with a Metronome as well. And then Whisper Frock 2, we drop an Earthquake. Let's see how much damage this Earthquake does. We're only going to use one. It is... That's a lot of crits. That is a lot of crits. Okay. That's kind of a hard example to push, but... With just Hero, I'm at 50... Can you go away, please? I'm at 54%, which is above 50% breakpoint, so it's probably going to be worth it, just like the Whispers proc was. When you have Metronome procs on top of this and the Whispers proc, the Whispers proc does not actually give you haste. I don't think it does anyway. It didn't used to directly contribute to your haste number here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be... Yeah, it, as it goes away, it still doesn't actually show in your haste number, so that's a little deceptive, but Whispers is essentially just haste. So keep that in mind. So I only used one Earthquake here. And it did a lot of damage, because it created a lot. And Seismic Lightning also procced once. And it did 1.28 million damage. Now that is more than an Earth Earthshock. Granted, the Earthshock did not crit, and the Seismic Lightning did. But it's still kind of insane. So in an attempt to get a better example for you guys, I went into an Eye of Ajara 14, and... On the last boss, during Hero, I used Earth Earthquake, and outside of Hero, I used Earthshock. I did, however, accidentally use one Earthshock inside of Hero, just for muscle memory on the opener. But, I mean, look at this, two of them crit, so it's a little weird in this example. But, as I was saying, the Earthquakes with 8 casts did a lot of damage, and then Seismic Lightning on top of that, totaling about 9 million damage-ish, like just short of 9 million. And Earthshock, with two crits, did 6 million, and I had Hero for like 45 seconds, and not Hero for also about 45 seconds. So I might have had Hero, on, Hero Helm on, so it might have been a little accurate there. But this is kind of an example of just how much damage Seismic Lightning will do. The big negative thing with Earthshock is that it either crits and does a ton of damage, or it doesn't crit and does like nothing. It does less than a Lava Burst minus the Overload. Like, let's see. Lava Burst... Average 712k, Earthshock non crit 707k. It's kind of pathetic. And then you look at Earthquake, and its its average is pretty evened out based on your crit because it has so many additional hits instead of just one hit every so many seconds. And that is one of the main benefits of Earthquake is that it's much less RNG when it comes to the actual damage, except for Seismic Lightning, of course. But overall, I just I don't really don't like how Earthquake or Earthshock rather is just kind of. I use it and pray that it crits, or you feel like you're wasting a global almost. And when it does crit, it hits for 3 million. It's kind of just, it's really, re the variant is really, really frustrating. To summarize, we now have an actual viable build that uses Earthquake on single target. Earthquake being an AoE ability that goes on the ground. It's actually viable to use Earthquake on single target during Heroism without using that build. And it's actually viable to use Earthquake on single target during Whispers procs without using that build. That's, I mean, there's not much else to say. Now, in saying this, I'm not trying to say that Earthquake is particularly overpowered or anything. I just think Earthshock is underpowered. And it's kind of a hard thing to fix because if you buff it, then sometimes it crits for kind of just ridiculous numbers. But the majority of times, it doesn't crit and doesn't hit that hard while Earthquake is a lot more evened out. And then, obviously this trait isn't helping. The last thing we needed was more AoE RNG. So if they're going to change one thing, it's either gotta be the buff, they gotta buff Earthshock in some way, or they gotta redo this trait. And I've been kinda putting some thought into this, and if they're really, really committed to having this trait, they could just add it to Earthshock, but have a higher percent chance. Like, there's, six to seven ticks of Earthquake on average for the average Shaman with a 5% chance to proc this, so it goes up to what, like 25, 30%? And if you just add that to Earthshock, you can just have a 30% chance for Earthshock to proc the same thing. And it, it would still be very good on AoE because it has chances to proc on everything that ticks, but for single target, it would kind of eliminate the need to, or not really the need, but like the desire to use Earthquake on single target due to this trait. So, I really don't like 
I don't like the RNG, but if they're really dedicated to this trait being a thing, I think that's the most elaborate option they can do. So, yeah, that's that's kind of my input on the situation. So that about sums up everything I wanted to say about Earthquake and Earthshock. If you have not read that post I talked about it from with Lava, link in the description, I highly suggest you read it, as I've said like twice now. And just, if you have any ideas on how to fix this, then please do mention it, and even just mention it to Blizzard in that case, like tweet it to them or something, because this is a problem, and I think it needs to be fixed, even though some people do enjoy the Earthquake single target build, I just fundamentally don't think we should be using AoE abilities on, AoE abilities on single target and completely cutting out an ability out of a rotation that's supposed to be one of the core abilities. So um, that's kind of my thoughts on the matter. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.